when it's raining hard, and there is also solid sunshine, what does it tell? When there is drought in a flood-rich area, what does it tell? When lawyers starts to diagnose using x-rays and ultrasounds, what does it tell? When nurses do the traffic assistance in the roads and businessmen extract bloods in the laboratories, what does it tell? It tells of one thing, irony. And whenever there is irony, things are not okay and in the right direction. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, wake up, it's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus, Alleluia, Alleluia. It's time to rise, to rise, sing, to sing, to shout, to shout, to bring him all your heart. He'll do the bigger part, if you will only make a start. It's time to give him all your heart, and only you can make a start. Wake up! Another wonderful day suitable for a sincere seven minutes with God. Truly, there is no substitute in putting God first in our lives. If this is our prioritization of God, God will surely make us also His priority. Again, this is Brother Noy Gonzaga, your online inspirational evangelist. At this moment, let us meditate upon the verse found in Psalm 111 verse 10. And it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follows his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Friends, I want you to focus on the first line. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. How can you learn if there is fear beside you? That's an irony. However, this irony was solved when God said fear is actually tantamount to be equal to love. So, Fear here does not connote strong feelings, but rather love. That is the uncovering of an irony. Routine makes life normal. That is why doing things out of routine would imply change, and change is not normal for it alters the course of normality. One of the greatest observations of naturalists is that when animals start going down from the mountain of which in a normal setup, they would prefer to remain there. Well, if this happens, something is not normal with the environment. This observation is almost always parallel to what is observed when a volcano is about to erupt. In one place near Southeast Asia, there is a stream full of fissures, but all of a sudden, when it was revisited, fissures are already nowhere to locate. A few days later, 50 meters from that stream, in a dry land area, a geyser occurred. Geysers are actually rare kind of hot spring that is under pressure and erupts, sending jets of water and steam into the air. It's a water explosion. Geysers are made from a tube-like hole in the Earth's surface that runs deep into the crust. It does not carry normal water, but boiling water with it. Several days later, after that geyser, a volcanic eruption occurred. In another situation, which actually occurred in Mount Pinatubo in the Republic of the Philippines, one month before the actual explosion of this volcano, creeping and crawling animals started to go down from the volcanic elevation, and these animals were seen going to the village. At first, it was thought that these animals only went down due to food shortage in the volcanic perimeter. This was ignored by the people in the area. And less than a month after that unique exodus of animals, Mount Pinatubo registered the second strongest volcanic eruption in the world which caused many lives. It caused widespread impacts across societal, economic, and environmental areas. The total damage of this volcanic eruption is estimated to $700 million or close to 35 billion pesos. In these two examples, it is very evident that things that change or things that are not normal are not given attention that is why it worsened to become catastrophic incidents in history. 
This is not only prevalent in nature. In human relationship, if there is already a growing irony, there should be a self-searching mechanism that one person should undergo to diagnose the defect early and save a relationship. These are often triggered by misunderstandings and misjudgments that when it cannot be clarified or given the accurate rationale, it can end up torching relationships. Sometimes, this also happens in our churches. When there is an occurrence that a loudspeaking person seems to keep his or her mouth shut all of a sudden, or a silent person in a twist of events started talking and talking loudly. These are signs that there is an interference with what is normal. Often it is a sign of discomfort and irritation. This is something wrong in or there is something wrong in this ironic situation. In short, there is the presence of irony. Now, the question is, what is wrong with irony? Well, simple, irony is never wrong. However, its occurrence points to a wrong thing that is happening and that needs attention. In the Bible, there are many ironic events that may have conveyed messages that turned the hearts of people as they understand the messages of God delivered through these ironic situations. There is the conversation of Jesus with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, not in a poolside area, not in a party, not in a hotel, but in a burning fiery furnace. So if you are in your right mind and normal self, will you converse with your friend in a burning area? Well, that is ironic. Because of this, the three wise men who were accused of dishonoring the king proved their point and represented God very well that many people recognize that their God is more powerful than the king of their place. There was also the irony of the Savior, who is the richest person in all the world, but chose to stay in a manger and was given birth fronting the horses and the camels. Imagine that. The richest son was born fronting animals in their manger. This irony raised a lot of eyebrows, but it educated humanity that to attain the status of greatness, one may need to understand humility in life. Very great lesson learned from the irony of Jesus' birth. There are some ironic instances in the Bible and it will always end up teaching humanity with values-based lessons and character-building insights. In short, ironies are actually possible areas of learning and improvement in the life of man. The next time we will see an irony in our environment, where the right is now wrong or the possible is now impossible, it is a sign that something unusual is happening or will be happening. So there is a need to study, prepare, and even be observant before it will be too late. Remember, natural irony may be God's way of reminding and warning His people of the things that might happen in the existence of man. Ironic situations cannot happen in coincidence. It happens because there is something that needs to be found out or discovered. So starting today, if there is something ironic in our family, in our relationships, in our workplace, or even in our church, always remember, this is telling us that something is not normal and needs to be uncovered so that things can be fixed and brought back to normality. The earlier these ironies of life will be noticed and given solution, the better will be the tendencies of this having positive resultants. Today, the greatest irony is that the smallest creature on earth, which is the virus, is causing the greatest havoc on human status of living. Thus, we need to ask what is this appearance trying to tell us? Are we being told that we are not healthy already in the world today? Are we being told that we are already doing a lot of damages to nature? Well, if we will search the scripture, the ironic things that happen tells only of one factual point. The world will begin to end and in the end, Jesus, the promised Messiah, will be ready to come and save the people who have long been waiting for him. Unless we will recognize the ironic events of life, 
we will not recognize that these are all signs of the times in the second coming of Jesus. At this moment, permit me to read a poetry I personally wrote regarding the ironic things in life. What if? A poetry written by Prospero Gonzaga Jr., otherwise known as Sir Noy, under the Jervin Eagle Legacy and Academia Gonzaga. What if ravens will turn as white as snow and the giraffe stands only a feet low? What if lakes possess running water that will flow and the wilderness with fairy tale glow? What if cats will enjoy the trimming of its claw and the symbol of love becomes the crow? What if garden grow weeds unfaced of the billow and trees are robust with leaves so yellow? What if birds will be happy meeting a scarecrow and a wild bull choosing a red pillow? What if a bow will be used without an arrow and the swing alienated from the seesaw? What if we are just riding in a wheelbarrow but our faith softens like a marshmallow? What if man commits to a universal flow and to the Bible truths he will say no? What if God's letting us pass a road so narrow for big streets with great lights bring night glow what if we slow down and think before our horns blow look to jesus before we counter flow truly the ironic changes in life will only mean that our hope of a coming Savior is already getting ne nearer. It's time to prepare for that day so that when the return happens, we will not be caught unaware. On the contrary, we will be ready for that vacation in heaven. Yes, this is the message of the ironies that happen in our midst these days. So let us focus more on God as we uncover more meanings in the ironic events of life. This is the seven minutes with God, and the irony is, God is with us 24 hours, but He is only asking for seven minutes from you to start your day right. God bless everyone. Wake up, wake up, it's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time to rise, to rise and sing, to sing, to shout, to, shout, to bring Him all your heart. If you will only make us fun Wake up! Wake up!